So you just want to learn the fundamentals of sculpting in ZBrush. Not a problem. When you start a new project, you will start with the standard brush, which is actually the brush that you need 60% of the time. Left click to activate the brush. The size of your brush is controlled here. How strong the brush is, is controlled by the intensity. And the focal shift is the difference between the minimum and maximum effects of the brush. They are represented by these two red circles. The outside circle is the maximum radius effect of the brush. The inner circle is where the strongest point of the brush is focused. So if we reduce the focal, the full force of the brush gets applied to the whole effect radius. But if we increase the focal, the full force of the brush mainly gets applied on a small area inside the total radius. If you are using a mouse and you have trouble making nice clean curved strokes, I recommend going up to stroke and turning lazy mouse on. This adds some delay when you left click which makes your strokes easier to control. A super useful thing that you can do in lazy mode is if you hold left click, then hold shift, you can make a perfect straight line. This trick is really really useful when doing hard surface things. If you increase the radius, it makes the delay even longer for even smoother control. Step controls how often the brush is applied. If you increase it, the brush will start to stagger. I rarely ever mess with lazy smooth or lazy snap. If you want to know what those things do, hover your mouse over them and press control. In fact, for the rest of your life, if you have any questions about anything in ZBrush, just hover over it and hold control. Then ZBrush will explain in clear detail what that button is for. At any point, if you hold shift, you will activate the smooth brush, which does exactly what it sounds like. 90% of your workflow is gonna basically be sculpt a little bit, smooth a little bit, sculpt some more, smooth some more, rinse and repeat. At any point if you hold alt, it's going to do the opposite of what your brush does. So on the standard brush when you left click it sculpts out, but if you hold alt, instead it's gonna sculpt in. When you're using the smooth brush, it smooths things, but if you hold alt, instead it's gonna make things rough. Symmetry is on by default, but if you ever wanna turn it off, just press the X key. You can always turn it back on by tapping X again. When you rotate the camera, you'll probably notice it rotates at a crazy angle. And as a Blender user, I'm not really a fan of this. So I always turn Y axis on, which makes the camera pivot and rotate the same way it does in Blender. At any point, if you press the F key, the camera will center on the object that you are working on. And there's a few more important things like masking and polygroups, but I think this video is getting way too long, so we'll cover those in the next one. But these are the core fundamentals that have helped me the most. But as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.